Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build a castle in Minecraft block by block, step by step. Now if you're new to the channel, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials so make sure to hit that subscribe button. This castle will fit in a 16 by 16 square, so go find your nearest. This castle will fit in a 16 by 16 square, so find your nearest swamp, find a nice hill there, and let's get to it. All right, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So the first thing you're going to want to do is build a nice 16 by 16 square. You don't have to do it out of orange wool. Um, that's just what I like to use. But um, yeah, do grab something that stands out, something that's really clearly not different. So don't, for example, use stone brick. That would be a pretty bad idea um, because then you're going to get like kind of a bit confused. I've used it really bright so that you guys can see exactly where I am at that point in time. Um, materials that you guys are going to need, uh, at least for this first tower, to get us started with this, it's going to be stone brick slab, stone brick stair, stone brick block, you're also going to need a polished andesite, which I freaking love this block, I even like the weird little greeny bits in it. Uh, you're also going to need some cobblestone wool, a stone slab, and also some spruce wood slab as well. Or a spruce wood slab, or not really a spruce, spruce wood slab, but spruce wood slabs in general. Um, right, so we're gonna, also going to be doing like most of this in stone brick. You'll see here that I've got lots of variation going on. If you're doing it in survival, it might be easier for you guys to use or do the variation blocks. So using like stone, using um, cracked stone bricks, and also mossy if you can get your hands on some mossy as well. Um, it's totally up to you if you wanted to do that. But uh, we will be doing it all in one go. Then we're going to be doing the variation later on. I'll show you guys how you do that. So first things first, uh, actually, is if you want to know where the entrance is for this thing, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seven, eight, nine, and ten blocks from that corner, the leftmost corner, is going to be where your entrance is. And you might just want two blocks, so that could be uh, just your eight and nine uh, kind of like blocks. So pretty central to the plot, or block, or whatever you want to call it. Right, so stone bricks, what we're going to do first is we're going to have on this line, we're going to go over from this edge and we're going to have five blocks, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to go around the, the kind of like edge here, we're going to do the same thing, so one, two, three, four, and five, so this is the first tower that we're building. Then what we're going to do is behind this, we're going to add five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're just going to join up this, so there should be four blocks here, one, two, three, and four. So this was a five by five tower, but then two sides of it, these two here, have been pushed out by one block. We're going to make this a total of four blocks high, so just add three blocks to each bit of it. So one, two, three, then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Obviously, if you're doing it in survival, make yourself a nice little dirt staircase. I'm hoping people still do that. I really am, because that's what I used to, used to do. Like, basically, all of my builds in survival used to have dirt scaffolding. <laughs> Looked terrible while I was doing it, but it got the job done. Right, so once you've done that anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to have a block on the edge. We're then going to have a stone brick stair. A block, a stone brick stair, and then a block. And then on this inside edge of the castle, we're just going to build this solid. So complete this all the way to the edge. Then we're going to have a stair, block, stair, and then a block like that. Cool. So right in the middle, we're going to put um, our block of polished andesite. This is kind of like a feature. It uses this more of a feature block than anything else. Then on each of the corners, we're just going to have an extra block. Now for this back piece here, actually first, actually before we do that, let's fill in the floor because I always forget. So where we've got the stairs, we're actually going to have this as a floor. So put in your nice spruce wood uh, kind of like blocks and obviously your planks. You can then also, you know, build a nice uh, entrance to it downstairs if you want to while you're building this thing. Where you've got your dirt scaffolding or whatever, uh, that would kind of work. Um, and then, yeah, just build up your blocks on here. Now this, this wall back here, what we're going to do, is going to have one block here. Leave this one, this is where there's going to be a nice entrance going across. Then build that to the edge. This is where there's going to be a, another entrance. So let's build that going all the way across like that. Then with our stone brick slabs, we're going to put a slab on the upper piece here, here, and here, and here. And this is literally just to make these kind of like protective... Uh, you'd be more protected there. I mean, people are going to shoot your shins otherwise. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be like matriculations, but because we're right on the edge of the plot, they're kind of a little bit cut short. So what we're going to do from here, uh, on each of these corners we're going to have two blocks of cobblestone wall, so there and there, and the same on the other side, so here and also here, but not on the ones over that side. So for the back pieces we're just going to build this up, like that. Where we've got our polished andesite block, we're actually going to have uh, another block on top actually, another block of, of stone bricks, so put another block on top of that. Then on top of that one we're going to have a stair, and then an upside down stair. 
like that. There you go, so get that in there. So stair and then upside down stair in there like that. Now what we're going to do, if we go onto the inside, where we've got this kind of like main pillar, we're going to put a stair and then an upside down a stair on here and the same on the other side, so stair, upside down stair. And then just have two blocks behind it. And this corner right here, this is where it's a little bit different, we're actually going to build up this corner here like that. Now you could obviously bring that all the way down for the floor or you can ignore it to have more space. Um, we're also, if we just build up this block here and this back bit here and build this over. And then with this entrance have a little stair going in like that. Same with this side, so have a stair there and just put blocks over the top of it. Now what we can do uh, is we're going to put in some stairs. We're going to put in a stair behind it. Oops, not there. Uh, yeah, it's actually there. There, there we go. One block down. Just put in your stair like that. Same on the other side, put in an upside down stair. So upside down stair and an upside down stair like that. Then on top of that one we're going to have a normal stair, normal stair, normal stair, normal stair. And then we're going to have another floor. So we can put in another floor. Now, if you want the same as what I've got, uh, I've actually got my ladder on here. So I actually ended up grabbing my ladder, um, leaving one block, and then building that ladder up to there. And the reason being that then when you walk through the whole thing, you don't get caught on it. But if you need to use it, you can just jump and you're up and away pretty much, which is great. So what we're going to do now uh, is, for this bit anyway, we're going to have upside down stairs on each of these corners. So we're going to have upside down stair here, 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 here here and here like that oh and also these ones as well let's not forget those ones uh, on each of those corners you're going to have two blocks of cobblestone wall like this like that and also in the middle we're also going to have an upside down stair here as well so some of these might change uh, especially when we get in the extra bits we've got like a little bit of wood there a bit of wood there uh, some of the blocks will be removed, but for this singular tower, we're just building it in sections, this will work. So for each of those middle kind of uh, bits that we've got going on, what we're going to do is have a uh, polished andesite block. So polished andesite block, block all around for these. And then again with our uh, stone brick slab, we're actually going to have these on the top here, but this time it's kind of like offset by one. So instead of it being into a block, it's just going straight into... Uh, the side of these pieces and it makes it look like it's um i think it makes it look smaller which is kind of what i was going for with this one so there we go so we get something like that where it's sticking out we're then going to have a normal stone brick block on top of the middle piece of each of these like that then we're gonna have a stair block on top of this one and also on top of the stone brick uh, uh, sorry cobblestone wall on top of the cobblestone walls so there you go put those in there just like that and around that piece like that and then just like before, where we have blocks going on the back, I'm just going to really, really quickly jump in. Try not to do this, but I'm going to have to. Um, we're going to have a look at the inside, and I'm pretty sure... No, I didn't actually. I'm going to change my design a tiny little bit just to... It's actually it's something I've missed. Totally missed. Missed opportunity, which is never good. So I just jump out of that. Um, we are going to actually do, similar to what we did the other side, where we had the stairs going in, upside down stairs on these pieces. It's going to make it feel bigger on the inside, which is why I'm going for it. So have that there, then put a block on top, like that, and then each of these corner blocks do three blocks going up, like this, there we go. And then what we can do is have the same kind of thing, we're having this block pushed back, so we have it right on there, so we get this kind of like other gap going on. So blocks in there, oops, there, and there, and there. Just like that to build this tower. Obviously it looks a little bit weird at the minute, but um, it will look a lot better when we start to actually add it onto the other bits. It looks so strange to me. But there we go. Get that like that. And then what we're going to be doing is right from here, uh, we're going to be grabbing our stone slab. We're going to be putting a stone slab on each of these corners. Just like this. I've also forgotten about my stairs in here, so let's put those stairs in there quickly. And from here, we're then going to have a block on top of these pieces here, like this. Like that. And then you get a stair on in the middle of these. So a stair on the middle of these. And then we get our other floor. So this is where we put in our slabs like that. Now it's up to you guys if you want to again put another ladder in. So I very luckily flew into that, didn't I? And this is where, now I realise, I put in a solid wall on one of them. So I think with one of them, you know, switch them out to a solid wall. 
do the same kind of thing where you got it going up. Um, I would definitely recommend not having it at the front because defensive wise, well, this way you can actually shoot down. So you have got matriculations. Uh, so do go up to the top instead for this one. Right. So now what we're going to have right here is another block on top. So another block on top of just these blocks here. Like this. Then we're going to have upside down stair going out on each of these. like that and now we're going to have uh, stone brick slabs joining these and then also go out by one with each of the stone brick slabs so stone brick slabs going out on each of these and I got a feeling I've just made a mistake with some of the stairs and not, uh, not the stairs the blocks but yeah, just have this going out and you get this kind of like corner block here uh, what I've just realized is these blocks here aren't actually blocks they are stairs on the inside sorry about that guys so switch those out to your stairs I mean the blocks will work you know fine it's just that then you get Feels like you've got more space here, and you can also look down on this side. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but, you know, at least you can do that now. Um, and then just to finish this off, all we need is our stone slabs. Put these on top of the stairs, like this, just to kind of, like, cap it off. And there we go. That gives us our first tower, which at the minute, at the minute admittedly, looks a little bit weird. But you could, of course, if you wanted to, um, just have it as its own tower, extend out each of these. So basically these, these edges that you've got here, where this bit's sticking out... You could actually push back, you know, the wall on each of these sides to actually push that out if you wanted to, just as a standalone tower with this kind of style, which is kind of a bit of a wacky style. But what we'll do now, guys, is get onto the second tower, which we're actually going to be doing the this kind of like tower here and also the gatehouse. All right, so now we're going to get onto the second tower. Now this one's a lot smaller, and this does house the counterweight for the little port colours that we got on it. It's only a small port colours in this one. So let's get on to that. So where we've got this red box around here, uh, sorry, orange box, not red, uh, orange box around here, what we're going to do is going to be in one block from each of the sides. I'm going to have five blocks going across to this side. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then just add four on the back. So one, two, three, four. So we're going to have a five by five box, basically. There you go. So you'll get something like that, you know, literally just a nice box. You're going to build this one up exactly the same as we did before, right up to four layers. So I just do that. So let's add another three layers on top. One, two, three. And I'm going to do this thing again where I just look over the edge and start building this up. There we go. Like that. And then what we're going to get onto is the same kind of thing where we've got here. We've got these little uh, uh, kind of like um, holes going on. Same exact thing. So we're going to have one there, one there. On the side, one there and one there. And then we just put blocks in to each of these. Around the back, we just have normal blocks. And right there, we have a normal block. And then we just put in our... That's the wrong block. <laughs> and then we put in our spruce wood slabs for the flooring. There we go, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of like supports on the sides of this. So I went with, I think it was about two blocks there. Uh, one block there, one block there. One, two, and a two. Something like that will do. Uh, it's totally up to you guys how you want to do it. And then just put stairs on top of those. And it just instantly makes it kind of... Um, it makes it look better straight away. It always does with these kind of things. So anyway, next what we're going to do... After we've got that, we're actually going to start moving outwards. So we actually put a stair on top of these ones here. Moving outwards, like that. And on top of these, we put a polished andesite block. So same kind of thing as what we got up here-ish, uh, and a bit mix of down here, just in a slightly different style because we're pushed back. And then just put your slabs in between each of these. Don't worry about the corner, just completely leave that one. So just join those up. And then what we're going to do on each of these corners, this one here, so we're going to go up with two uh, cobblestone blocks. Same with this one here as well, like that. And same with this one, and same with this one. Now, that leaves us with this middle block. We're just going to put a slab on top of that one, like that. And then in behind it, I don't think I actually did it on mine at all. But, um, yeah, let's, let me just double check. Yeah, so I didn't do it at all. But we're going to put in those stairs like I did before, because I actually quite liked that when we did it on all of it. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put in a stair here, and then an upside down stair. Stair here, and then upside down stair. Like that. And then we're going to go up with three blocks here. And three blocks on this one. I'm just put a block on top of those ones. Uh, right here, we're going to have three blocks going on this side, and it's going to line up with this kind of like doorway type thing that we've got going on here. So it's going to be exactly the same. And then we can just build up this side here, like that. 
Now, I'm pretty sure the doorway on mine is here, so let's leave that in the same place, and we'll do a stair as well on that bit there like that. So at least then you have that doorway going on. Okie dokie. So next we're going to put in upside down stairs on these bits, exactly the same as we kind of did with the previous tower. So it's using these kind of like common styles, I always use, you like to use like uh, common styles going through builds, but actually you know changing them out a little bit like this one's sticking out and that one's not. But that's sticking out because of it's got these blocks out and etc and so forth. So I always find it, it just adds a lot of variation. So now what we get to do is... Oh, put in another stair. Um, we get to grab some different blocks. We got dark oakwood slab, stair, and also the planks. And this is to put the roof on. So what we're going to do here is have just blocks going on top of this layer here, like this. And then we're going to have stairs on top. Like that. Then on top of this, we are just going to put some a block here, a block here, and then we're going to go for a stair. Then next to this one, yeah, another block, another block, and then upside down stair, just to make it like a little bit patterned. And we'll do the same on the other side as well. So block here, block here, stair on that side, just keep on going with the blocks, and then just do an upside down on there like that. So you're doing that kind of like typical kind of um, inset pattern. So then on this one, same thing again. So we do our blocks going across. And then put your stairs on top of those. Like that. Now I can't quite remember, but it's a stair, isn't it? Yeah, so there we go. So it's a stair. So I can't remember, but it's absolutely fine. So we're going to have blocks just going across the top piece of this. And then we'll get on to doing the details in a second. And right, right here, we're just going to put in two blocks uh, like that. So don't worry about doing anything else on those. There we go, two blocks in there with your stone brick. So for the extra details, what we're going to do, we're going to have an upside down stair here, then a normal stair, then upside down stair on here, and then we get a block, a stair, then right um, on the end here, we're going to have a normal stair going that way, then upside down stair, there we go. So stair, block, so basically most of these are blocks, but stair on that side, stair on that bit. Stair on there, so it's just like the last one really that's that's just sticking out like that. Uh, and then we just have a slab going across the sides here like that and going out. So it just kind of you can see where the supports then at least tie into it, which is quite nice. So we'll do the same on the other side as well. So where do we get to? We've got this here, we got that slab. There we go. So let's do the slabs on the side here. Bring that around. Then we can do the same kind of stuff around here. So we got stair, normal stair, upside down stair, um, block stair. Upside down stair, normal stair. Yeah, There's a lot of stairs. Lots of stairs. But it's a typical kind of roof uh, design that you kind of have with your... Almost like a Nordic style. The kind of like typical like uh, Minecraft Nordic, I think, is, is more of an accurate term for it. But there we go. You can have stuff like that. You could, of course, also, if you wanted to, you know, um, have this bit, like, for example, going up or whatever. Uh, or have it, you know, where it, where it has some stairs on it. But I've just done it nice and simple with mine. So that is it for that tower, really. There's not really much else to it. So let's quickly do the joining piece uh, to actually put in the portcullis and everything like that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to join these two towers together and we're also going to put in a portcullis. So what we're going to do, go just one block back and put in a stair on either of these sides. So we're just going to do the edges of these. We're then going to have three blocks behind this. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. I'm going to have an upside down stair here, upside down stair there, like that. Put another block on top of these. And then we're going to have stone brick slabs between them, like that. That's where we're getting onto this bit. Then what we're going to do, so if we just put in a block here and a block here, and we're going to put in stairs, so a stair going this way, and a stair going that way. The only reason we've really got this slab is just because it um, makes the transition look a lot better. So we've got that there. Um, on the other side, we're just going to go up straight with blocks. So we're going to leave a one block gap and go up straight with blocks like that. Cool. Then what we can do, it's not going to need those at all. Uh, probably need the dark oak slab. What we'll do is we'll grab there you go, chiseled stone bricks. If we just shove this in the ground, this one just looks the best, I always find, as like a portcullisy type um, texture. Always, it always works quite nicely. So we'll get up to this point. We're then going to have a stair going on here and a stair on that side. And then do the same on the other side of this as well. Stair there and stair there like that. 
Uh, what we can do now... Ooh, there we go. Is actually have a block on each either of these sides like that. Then we're going to have a slab on the front of these. Just on the upper piece there. And then we're going to have a stair this way. And a stair that way. And just join them with our stone brick slab. So it makes this kind of... Um, I think it makes it quite an interesting shape with this. It's like curved shape at the front of it. So we go get that. We can then grab... I can't even find it. <laughs> stone slab. Grab a stone slab. And just put that on either side of it like that. There. Cool. And then just for this bit, we're just going to put a block in there. A block in there. Put a block on that one and on that one. Uh, and I think we get another set of stairs on here as well. So we get a stair there and a stair... Oops. A stair there like that. So for the portcullis itself, let me go and grab the materials. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of all that. There we go. Um, what I ended up using for this one uh, was spruce wood apparently. Okay, so I used spruce wood. And if you also grab... That's uh, so a spruce wood fence, that is. Also grab some iron bars uh, and some actual dark oak wood as well. I mean, it doesn't matter if you use those logs or if you use other logs. Really, really doesn't matter. Uh, we'll use that for the time being. So just along the back, we're just going to put in two blocks there like that. Uh, and then if you want the, the portcullis closed, of course, you know, put in your fences going across here like this. Uh, but if you want them up, then the best way to do it is to figure out where it's going, and that is by putting in the top block. So we just put in the stair here. So right above this, we're going to have this block's going to get taken out. And we're going to put in, take that one out there, put in uh, your log all the way through this one. You can have it going all the way through, or you can leave it there. I prefer personally to leave it there. Uh, but on this side, do bring it all the way through, because then it makes this kind of like tower have a little bit more purpose, really. Um, and then from here, we're going to put iron bars on top of this bit, like that. And then we're going to have from here will be your actual fence bits. Now, with this one, we need, let's have a look, one, two, three, three blocks at least. So then make your uh, portcullis part, this bit, the, the wooden fence bit, at least three blocks big in total. And you could, actually, with the amount of space we've got, we can make it four. So let's make that one actually four. Whoops. And just be placing, as I'm sure, fences everywhere. So then you get this like bit, you know, uh, sticking out. It means that when it goes down, uh, it would look completely kind of like full. So that's quite good. So we've got some tweaking to do on this top piece here. We're going to have some slabs just going across here. And that just joins in. And then what we're going to do is take this slab out and just move these across here and onto this bit. i just do the same on the other side. So take that slab out and just move these across and underneath there, and it all just kind of like tucks in quite nicely. And what we can do as well, so now, you know, we've now actually joined these two towers up, which is good. So at least these two towers are joined up. Um, if you do want to have, you know, a county weight, I, I quite like using, where is it? Um, I think I'd use that. There's a birch fence, there's some birch fence. So I quite like using something like, you know, iron bars or whatever. It doesn't really matter what you use for this. Uh, have like an actual <laughs> weight onto it. You can have that that actually goes down So there's actually like a little area where it can go down and they can actually have you know, like fences and things like that to uh, You know, they would be pulling this like it's a rope or something, you know, you can do it somewhere else to make this whole thing turn uh, Probably not there either. It's not very many places good places to put this at all That's what I'm finding out, but you know, you can put in some fence like that So then you can actually just you know pull that um, it would make this turn Um and then I'd like raise it and obviously um, you then, you know, tie it in, well not really tie it in place, but you'd, you'd kind of like lever it in place and it'd be pretty good. Um, so that's pretty damn good so far. You can if you want to. Um, the only other bit I've got is really just, I've actually got some fence on here for this section. Uh, not fence, some, some blocks, but obviously that doesn't really do much to it. Um, you could of course, you know, build your walkway going around if you wanted to. Uh, you're still going to be quite exposed for that whole bit, but... You know, let's leave it like this for now. Um, so we've at least got those two towers together. And also the um, portcullis. So let's get on to the next tower. We're going to do this one next. All right, so let's do this back tower. So what we do, come over onto this side. And we're going to build a 7x7 seven seven square. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and go all the way around there. So it's literally right on that corner. 
we're going to build this up to four in high in total. So add another three blocks. You can see that I've used quite a lot of these like four high um, kind of things with this one. It's like it's really. I didn't realize how much I'd done on it until I've done the tutorial. Like, like usual, it's one of those things. I guess I build this up. Right. So now we get to get onto uh, with your stairs. On the corner, we're going to have have a block. Then we're going to have a stair, block, stair, block, stair, block. Basically, exactly the same as we've got this here. Uh, it's kind of like a, a nice recurring style. And for the inside pieces, we're just going to have blocks and going around that piece there. And that's the same thing on on this side as well. So you get yeah, alternating blocks and uh, alternating blocks and stairs. Then we can fill in the floor with your spruce wood planks. Like that. And of course, if you want to, you can join it across. So um, at least you have a little little way to you get across from this piece like that. So next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to have three blocks on the side here. So one, two. Actually, it's just two blocks. Sorry, two blocks on the side. Yeah. Pretty sure it's just two blocks. Yeah, just do two for now. Two blocks on there. So just build up these ones. Again, inside, just you know, go go you know up by two. And I'll ease ones here. Then we're going to put in some arrow slits. It's up to you guys what you want to do with these. If you want to make arrow slits or or not. Um, but all you do is just put in a stair here and put a stair on top there. It doesn't let light in, uh, which is a bit of a pain, but um, you do at least get some kind of, like, they, they look quite defensive. I always find they look like actual arrow slits for these ones rather than these bigger, bigger open ones. But you could switch out for glass if you wanted to. You don't have glass, no, no problem at all with that. Um, you also notice I haven't joined up the wall here. It's because I do, there's like an extra section we're going to be doing in a bit, uh, which covers over this. So it's up to you. you. Could you could cut it out for now if you wanted to, or or not really. You know, totally up to you. Right. So anyway, next we're going to do uh, another layer of blocks on top of this. It's on top of absolutely everything. All the way around there, like that. I'm just going to double check this because I can never remember. So right here, stair, yeah, block. There we go. And that is like that. So that is just that single one. So we can do the same thing where we alternate block and stair. So block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block, stair, block. Stair, block. Um, and actually, this time we go around all of it as well. That's where it gets a little bit different. So I get all these in here. Uh, whoops, there, there, there as well. And put in your stairs like that. And guess what? We got another floor, so put that in as well. Like that. So there we go, we got our floor in. Now what we're gonna do is do another two blocks going up. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and of course, don't worry about your other bits. Like that. And put in your arrow slits, so put them on in the corners. And there is a reason why I do them on the corners this way. Um, I find that if you do them the other way, just to show you guys, uh, it doesn't look like you can actually shoot through them um, at all. You can like get stuck here, and I don't know. I just don't like it. I, I like the look of it being this way because then it feels like you can actually you know shoot through that way and shoot through that way. So that's why I go for those. So I'm putting some stairs here, all the way around. Really, I'm probably going to put some in different places than they are down below. I'm not too bothered. Uh, variation. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, rather than anything else, is a swamp castle after all. So there we go, build that in there, and put that one in there. Now one thing that I've actually forgotten, this level we can actually cut out these ones here, and we can actually just put in a block for this side. And what we can also do is get, grab a spruce wood stair and put spruce wood stairs working our way down until we get down to this level, and actually build that into there as well. So now we've got at least a way up to this higher level. There you go, just like that. So we're going to do now, grab your cobblestone wall on each of these corners. Just put two pieces of cobblestone wall going up. Like that. Then what we're going to do on each of these insides, we're going to put in two blocks. So two blocks on the inside of these, these ones here, right next to them. And on top of each of those blocks, we're going to put a stone slab. So I'm going to put your stone slab just to cap those off like that. There we go. 
So now what we'll do, uh, grab another block. We're going to put a block in the middle. And then we're going to do stair, stair, and stair like that. And then we're going to have an upside down stair right next to each of these two. Just there like that. So block in the middle. Stair, stair, stair. And upside down stair on each of these two. And same again here, even though we've obviously got the entrance. So we're just going to have stair, stair, stair. And then ups, upside down stair, upside down stair like that. You could of course have an upside down stair in here as well if you wanted to push that door back a little bit. I'd probably do that. Uh, oh, we need one more to do. So here we go. Block, stair, stair, stair. Upside down stair, upside down stair like that. And we're actually on to another floor. So then fill this floor in as well. There we go, so that's what we get for that bit. So what we'll do now is we're going to grab some iron bars, and then I've got some down here. There we go, like that. Uh, and actually, first what we can do, we can put in a stair on these ones. So stair on each of these sides, and then we're going to have an upside down stair. I'm going to be able to get that on there. There we go, upside down stair on that one. So stair, oops, stair, stair. Now I'll just put in a block for now. I don't know why I deleted that block. So yeah, stair, stair, fin your upside down stair like that. Just get rid of any blocks you put down. So upside down stairs here. And obviously if you're in survival, it's going to take you a little bit longer with like dirt or whatever it is. As well as obviously making all the scaffolding. So I think you guys are crazy. But um, anyway, what we'll do now is we're going to put in two blocks on either side of this. Just on the, on, on the corners even. There you go. So we're just going to start cornering that off. And with our iron bars, we're actually going to have iron bars in between this. And this just stops you from falling, really. There's there's not really uh, any kind of like purpose behind it. You could just have trapdoors here or a door. You could even have a door on this um, so that you can just open it if you wanted to walk out. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Right, so next what we're going to do, on top of the iron bar, we're going to have a stair. Let's put this in here. Stair on top of these. Like that. I'll get there eventually, just like that there. Uh, and then on each of these like pieces where we've got the upside down stair, we're going to have a cobblestone wall. And then on each of those, oh, another one there. And on each of those corners, we're going to actually have two cobblestone walls. So I have two on there like that. Like that. So let's continue with the roof. What we're going to do is behind... Uh, like these kind of blocks here, we're just going to have two blocks going up. Just putting two blocks there. So this is where this is where this tower, this like whole kind of castle goes weird. <laughs> I quite like it though, it's just totally different. So I have blocks in there. And then I'm going to have an upside down stair on this piece here. So I'll then finish this off. Like that there. Now we're going to switch over to dark oakwood stairs. And we're going to have them wrap on the side here. So put them on the side of this one. Same there. Like that. There we go. And then what we can do is we can use our slabs and actually bring this around here. Uh, that's not right. No, that's not right at all. Put your slabs on top. Sorry. Yeah. Slab on top. Don't do it on the middle though. Uh, and then we're going to have these go around on top. Like that. There we go. And around there like that. Now there is a slight change that I just realized. Around this one here, we actually switched this one out for a stair. So this one's going to be a stair. I don't know why I made it so weird and complicated. I think I was just going for something totally different. So yeah, putting stairs on these corners. Uh, or just, just, you know, one block away from the corners. Let's put that in there. Um, where you've got the cobblestone kind of wall showing, just put in a, a stone brick. Just block that up. Then in between this, we're going to use clay blocks. And yeah, clay. Um, I just wanted something that looked quite different. And the kind of like light, light grey kind of clay block kind of worked. So we just have three blocks in here. Just like that. Um, we can put in another stone brick block behind each of these as well. And then put an upside down stair on each of them. Like this. So you get your upside down dark oakwood stair on each of these corners. Like that. Now I'm pretty sure that we have yeah another 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 layer of blocks as well. So we have another another layer of clay. So put your clay on here as well, 
like that. And also, don't forget, yeah, have your stairs. Apparently, I forgot. And then just join this with slabs. So there's slabs on the upper piece. Do the same on this bit here. Bring those around like that. Add that on the side there. Bring these around. Put that on there. Add these around and put them on there just like that. Okay. So right on the middle piece, we're going to have three slabs on this on this bit here. So just put three slabs in. Not four. Three slabs. There you go. And three slabs there like that. We're then going to have a slab on top of this piece here. So slabs on those. Like that. And then what we get to do is we grab a block as well. We're going to have a block behind this. Right in the middle. And then on each of these we're going to have a stair. So you have a stair here. And stairs on these bits. Just make our way around. Like that. Then we can have a slab on each of the corners. I'm looking at the upper piece. And then we have an, a lower slab. But going up our entire block. So it makes a little cross pattern. Like that. There we go. So we get that cross pattern. So that's what you have for your roof. It's really strange. Really different. Uh, the only thing I did last was put in a little wooden button. On each of these. Totally up to you if you want to do this. Um... I don't know, it doesn't really add a lot to it. I guess you can see them, but uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't do loads to the build. So it's up to you guys if you want to do that. You could, of course, have like a little window or something up here as well. Um, I don't think I even had mine as being able to get into it, but you know, there's no reason why you couldn't have some sort of little tower to go up into here and you've got this weird, weird little room uh, of some kind. You know, you could do that if you wanted to. So let's just join up these two towers now. So let's join these two towers up. Nice and easy to do this. We're just going to be from this kind of side here. Leave two blocks and then just build a wall which is five blocks high. So one, two, three, that's two even. Three, four, and five like that. So it's really kind of pushed in on this one. And then what we're going to do on each of the sides is just have arrow slits. So arrow slit there and an arrow slit there. Two blocks in the middle like that. And then we're going to do is put a layer of blocks on top. Switch over to your dark oak wood slabs, and we're going to have the slabs on top of here, like that. And have slabs on top of this bit. And then slabs again going across, just here, even if it's only a couple. Um, now, we actually need as an anvil, or a couple anvils, quite a few anvils. So right here we're going to have anvils, like that. So we get uh, two anvils stacked on top of each other. Then we're going to have an upside down dark oak wood stair like that. Put your slab across the two and I'm just going to finish off the slabs working their way down this time like that. So it all kind of like fits in, slots in and this just gives you this nice little area here. So we now put in our floor down here as well with our spruce wood like that and cut this one out here for your door. So now I have a door going into this nice tower here. Uh, it's nice and protected so you could actually have, you know, if it was raining or whatever uh, I think that was the idea for this one, is, is that if, if it's really like heavily raining, you can just kind of walk between these two and everything like that. Um, another thing that I did on this one is I cut through this side here. And if we grab that there we go, spruce stair, I actually put in spruce stairs going down here. So this is the way that I actually get up into, into my castle from here uh, and then go up there. Obviously, you can also have some sort of entrance into this one. You haven't really got an entrance into this one either, so you know you can have one on that side or uh, there or something. Uh, and also the same with this one, you know, you can have something down here uh, to get into that that area. Like that. You know, the other thing to do. I haven't got it on mine, um, but you can actually have some, you know, blocks here and have it where you've got those kind of like um, supports going on, you know. Or even up to maybe not that level, but you know, you can have it going up to like there or something that might, that actually does look really cool. So put that in there. So there we go, guys. Let's get onto this last kind of tower. All right, so for the final big tower, let's get going. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna be doing this one in stages again, because it's just, some of these are just really complicated. Um, but we're gonna start in this corner with our stone brick blocks. And we're gonna have four blocks going up in a pillar. One, two, three, four. Then lever block. Then we're going to have four. One, two, three, four. Leave a block, do the same. Leave a block, do the same. And guess what? Leave a block, do the same. And make it four blocks, not, not three like I just did then. So there we go. should have five of those in total. Do the same on the other side. So we've got the same thing here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. This time we have a two block gap. 
which actually doesn't sound right. No, we go up this one as well. There we go. We do. Totally forgot. So what we'll do now is we're actually going to have blocks behind this. This is where it's a little bit different than my kind of like other castle because as this kind of uh, wavy kind of pattern on the inside, I have no idea what you'd do with the inside interior on this. So I guess you could do like wood or or fill it with something, you know, to to kind of change it a little bit. But there we go. Fill that up there like that. We're then on the corners are going to have two blocks of cobblestone. So a cobblestone wall like that. And we're also going to grab stone slab as well. And shove that on top. So there you go. Get that on there. Get that on there. And get that on here as well. So just on that, that last one. Now if we actually bring this kind of walkway right to, to this point here. What we're going to have on this one is a stair. So put a stair in there like that. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we grab a stone brick slab. We can actually have the stone brick slab going over on that block like that. So do that. That's pretty cool. Um, what we're going to do behind each of these kind of like cobblestone blocks is put in, or just on that side actually, and on this side, put in just two blocks of uh, of your stone brick. And I'll see how that kind of like lines up with all of those bits. I find I think it looks quite cool. So we've got that going onto there. And then for each of these uh, blocks, on the, uh, the main blocks, we're actually going to have stairs on top of them. So stairs on top of these. Stair, stair, stair. Behind that, we're going to have just two blocks. So just two solid blocks. Like that. And then we're going to have an upside down stair on these ones. Like that. Let's just bring your upside down stair in. And there like that. There we go. So that looks pretty damn cool. Next what we're going to do is on top of these stairs we're actually going to have two blocks of cobblestone wall. Like that. And then what we're going to do in between each of these gaps is actually have a stair and an upside down stair. So here as well, stair and upside down stair. Oh. Did I miss it on this side? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you do have it on this side as well. Don't know how I missed that one. I just kind of ignored it like it didn't exist. It's a bit weird. <laughs> there you go. Stair and upside down stair. Uh, obviously, I've messed up that bit there. There we go. Stair, upside down stair, and stair, and upside down stair like that. And then behind these, just two blocks, as you can probably guess. Like that. Okay. So we can at least fill this kind of like floor in as well. Um, it's up to you guys as well if you have if you want the um, like basically have the have the main building going in here. I actually have my blocks going up to this point. And I did actually for this underneath the stairs bit. I actually did cut all of that out, so I actually went into you know, doing something like that and then bringing this across. So I might as well do that because that's what I've done. I mind to add in its structure. And just do one more block up going there. Like that. And I did the same thing on this side as well where I had a little doorway going in here. And I think I had another one on this side as well. Somewhere around here. So I can't quite remember where that is. I think we can leave that block. I guess we can leave that block. Let's have a quick look. I can't remember. What well, can't quite remember anyway. Yeah, I just left that block. So I had a, a block here. And that was fine. It was just all nice and open. So yeah, I had it right next to the side. So let's put that one in. Oh. Trying to fall down. So right next to the side. So yeah, had that block going up there. And then over this. A little bit. And we might as well put in one of those stairs. Let's bring that up as well. And bring that one over. Like that. And I cannot remember at all what I did with this back piece. I think it goes up. Yeah, it does. So we've got another two blocks on top of that. So let's just put those blocks in. Because it's a little bit of a different part of that. So two blocks in there. Uh, we'll bring you up to that point at least. So what I can also do is put in this floor. So I'm trying to put in all the floors of these. Uh, otherwise you'd have a castle with no floors, which is never good. So oh, don't get stuck in a corner like I did. And it is going to be a very weird one to interior. If you guys do, by the way, make a cool interior for this, 
like totally, totally tweet it out to me or add it to my Discord. You know, I've got a pretty good Discord community, so you can post it on quite a few channels in there. It's pretty cool. If you've got a video on it, you can actually put it in promotion and promote your own video as well. So um, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to have a stair on top of these uh, cobblestone wall pieces. Like that. And what we're then going to have is four blocks of cobblestone wall on each of these going up. So one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. And I don't know what happens on there, but one, two, three, four. I don't know what happens on this corner at all. I'm guessing we just fill that with blocks. Yeah, put in two blocks in that corner. Um, so here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. So build that all the way up. We are going to need to uh, do a couple things, actually. There you go. I think we need a block in each of these. There we go, check. I know that the windows are in there, so I need to grab the window panes anyway. Uh, so it's just one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four blocks in the stair, that's fine. Four blocks in the stair, let's do that. So behind these, one, two, two, three, four. Like that, one, two, three, four. I think there's actually more than that, but do. I'm guessing with there we go. That's why I was getting offset. It's because it's all it's all quite a little bit tiny, a little bit wrong. I think. <laughs> right. Okay. So where we get that, and do the same on this corner as well. And here, there we go. Get that there. We'll then have two blocks of glass between each of these. Like that. And we're actually going to do the same on this side as well. So this is where we're going to put in. Pretty sure we put in stairs. Because I'm almost certain that we do. Yeah, we do something slightely different but the same. And then it's got upside down stairs here. So it's a tiny little bit different. So let's just do that. So let's go get these outside upside down stairs in here. So upside down stair there. Upside down stair there. On these bits. And next level has stairs going in here like that. And obviously this one doesn't. But it does have stairs going into it. Uh, and I have a feeling that this bit goes onto here, some sort of block there, and then actually the entrance is on this side instead of what it would be otherwise. There we go. Blocks here, two, three, four, and then cobblestone wall going up as well. Put in your box of glass, and what we, so we got a stair there. This would be where there would be a window, so that's what we got there. So one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Build that up. And at least for these ones, they're just directly on top of those. And then this is a door, so we can put in. Sit on stair. Now I think we can also, obviously, oh, we already have a door in there anyway. See, so yeah, I think the doors are a little bit off on on each of these. Um, it's up to you guys what you want to do underneath these ones. The ones that are sticking out, you can either put in just a, a cobblestone block. Or you could put in the wood. Um, I'm going to put in a couple. Uh, I'm going to put in a, a, a stone brick block. Whoa! It's getting my my words completely just gone the wrong way. Then totally words gone wrong. Uh, there we go. So you get in that like that there, uh, and then we can get our stairs. Put upside down stairs in like this oh, on these ones as well. So this is obviously like the. Uh, kind of like, you know, upper class, like lords or ladies room or whatever. It's the big, one of the bigger rooms. So we get that in there. We're now going to have a whole layer of just stone brick on top. Like that. Then we're going to switch over to our stone brick stairs. Uh, sorry, not stairs. Stone brick slabs. And we're going to just have this alternating. So we're going to go up and down. Up, down. Ignore the corner, so just have this to go over the windows. It makes the windows look a lot fancier, I find. Um, and I don't think we do anything on the inside. No, we don't, because we've got some other stuff going on. But we do on that side, yes. Yeah, so we do on that side. Oh, I haven't put in my cobblestone wall either on this bit. So four bits of cobblestone wall on each of those stairs. And then put in your slabs. Like that. There we go. Okay. So let's go on to the next bit. So for the next bit, what we're going to do 
firstly, we're going to actually fill in this floor because it is a separate floor. So let's get our spruce wood plank, uh, yeah, spruce wood plank slabs out and just fill this in. Whoops. Fill this in here. Like that. No, nope, like that. There we go. Just like that. And also on this piece here, all I did is I put in a stone brick slab going across there. And actually, this isn't a block. It's a stair. And that means that that's now wrapped around here. Somehow. What's happened here? What's happened down here? I must have put in a... Oh, I put in a stair block there. Right, put in a block there. Switch that one out. Stop me from getting confused. Uh, but it's just so you can actually look down. Obviously, if you had a nice chamber pot, that's where you're going to empty it. Right outside your room, just gone. Excellent. Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to get onto now, guys, um, we're going to do the next kind of like section, the next uh, bit. So we're going to have two blocks on each of these, just alternating like that. And then you guessed it, we're going to put, be putting in arrow slits, so stairs, lots and lots of stairs. Like this. There you go, like that. And actually on, on this one, I actually have like a, a kind of like joined bit going across between these two. Um, it's kind of up to you guys if you want it or not. Uh, it's literally just on this, on this kind of like here, 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 here. On this bit here, um, just going along to the side. So, I mean, we might as well put it in because we've got it. So let's just cut that. So if we cut those blocks there. Cut that out there. Actually, you can cut that out as well. What we're going to do is we're going to have that as a solid block. Get rid of these iron bars, uh, and then we're going to get rid of these two. Put in blocks on these these bits here. Have an upside down stair on this side, and same on that side. Then we're going to have another upside down stair underneath that as well, like that. I think I did. I think I kept that one. I'll have a look in a second. Then just on here we're just gonna have our spruce wood um, slab going in there and then just have a pressure plate on top of each of those and then we can just put a block in on here and a block in on there like that uh, to actually have this like little walkway it just means that then you can have like one of the towers having the stairs up so you don't have to have stairs going up into both of them that's the that's the main bonus of, of at least doing that uh, I'm pretty sure it does wrap in underneath there no, I actually put in just a block there. I actually quite like this wrapped in. I think it's made it a look, look a little bit different with that uh, in here. I mean, it depends if you there is a little bit of a lighting glitch. So that's the only you know, that's the only real problem that you got. Right. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to have our uh, cobblestone wall. And we're going to have two blocks of cobblestone wall. We're doing a similar kind of pattern to this tower. So we have two cobblestone wall on each of these ends, like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks next to each of those. Like So two blocks here, two blocks there, and two blocks in the middle. So two blocks there, two blocks there, two blocks there. Like this, just building up. And then we're going to have stair, upside down stair in each of these gaps. And obviously this one we can just have an upside down stair so you can... Oh, that's really high. Uh, we can just cut this down. I have an upside down stair there. I think I have a block or something in that bit. Do fine. There we go. So then we get this bit here. We're going to need a stone slab. So grab one of them. And we're going to have these on each of the corner pieces. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a stair on each of these sides. And an upside down stair on top of this. And leave the middle piece as well. Uh, what am I doing? Upside down stair. There you go. Not whatever I was going for then. Just like completely doing it in the wrong place. There you go. Upside down stair. I don't know why I delete that block. I always do that. I seem to always do that. I think it's a habit that I've had for like the last seven years or whatever it is that I've been doing Minecraft. <laughs> it's a bad habit. There we go. So get your stairs in there like that. Uh, we can actually switch this one out for a, a stair as well. Uh, something I actually haven't got on mine, weirdly. Um, but now that I've seen it and built the the other one, uh, it makes perfect sense. So then let's grab, there we go, let's grab some iron bars and just put them in between them. We're doing the same thing as we got, you know, on that level down there. So two iron bars in there just to stop you from falling. We're then going to have two blocks in this piece here, or on, on the corner even. Let's get two blocks in there. Put in a floor as well with your spruce wood slabs. 
put that in there. Uh, and also here as well. We can always jump through that, that hole that we've got. You know, might as well fill that up all the way to there. There we go. So that's what we get for this bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a cobblestone worn at the top of these ones. And if you remember, on the corners, we're going to have two cobblestone walls. So two lots of cobblestone wall on each of these corner pieces like that. So what we're going to do now is behind each of these uh, cobblestone wall pieces, we're just going to have two blocks. So if, if you can like base yourself off of the uh, yeah the main cobblestone wall where we've got two blocks there, just put that on there and just put two blocks on each of these sides. So just build that up there like that. And of course, on top of the uh, uh, iron bar, cannot think of what it's called then, put a, just a normal stair, then have an upside down stair to fill up this piece. So stair and upside down stair. Same on the other one as well. Just like that, there we go. Then we're gonna have a dark oak wood stair and just wrap this on the sides, just like we did before. Just dark oak wood stair. That on either side. Uh, there we go, like that. And then what we're going to get is the same thing that we did before, where we have slabs going on to it, and then bringing these around like that. On top, and not on top of the stair. It's kind of like a feature, I think, uh, to have that kind of like showing still or whatever. I think it is. Then just uh, put a stone bricks, uh, kind of like block on each of these, like that. Uh, we can now grab. Oh, it's right there. Uh, we can then grab our clay and just put these in on each of these bits. Three, one, two, three. And I've done the same thing that I did before where I've forgotten about these two sides where we have an actual stair on it. So, sorry dudes for doing this exactly the same as I did before. It's, it's, for some reason, I just keep on thinking um, slabs. It must have been the way that I built it is, is that way. That way first. Right, so on each corner, just put in another stone bricks to, uh, block. And then put in more of your clay as well. And then have your upside down as well. Your upside down uh, dark oak wood stairs just on those bits. It's kind of like this is how it's like being connected together or whatever. This is the connecting points. Now we do get something a little bit different. This one's a little bit bigger. It's a bit more rounded. So I'm having a quick look. So we've got stairs going up on that part there. So if we just, for the time being, put a block there, put a stair on here, then we have a slab, then a stair going over, and we can put in three blocks more of your clay. There's going to be quite a lot of clay in this, actually. Clay blocks. So sorry if you guys in survival. I know it's not not the, the most difficult uh, material to get your hold of, but it's a lot of clay that you have to then uh, put back together. <laughs> there we go. Put all these in here like that and then what we're going to do right on this corner again i am going to have to have a look because it's just slightly different i've done it i think it's just oh it's just slabs on top and then a block in the corner okay that's fine then so on top of here yeah just slabs on top of these ones here block in that corner is that corner block that was, that was messing me up right i just need to grab re grab that again because it's picked it up as clay for some reason there we go block in the corner and your slabs just go around it like this. There we go. Around there. There we go. That's cool. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to finish off this whole bit going around here. So it looks like we've got stairs on top of those. So that would be... Um, it's not there, is it? Like, yeah, it is. Okay, sorry guys. Again, I've done it. It's because the, the pictures do not... That I've got do not show this at all. I think it's because it's just to add a lot into it. So yeah, those corner bits take off, put in stairs instead. I was thinking it looked a little bit strange. You know, it just um, looks smoother on my on the picture that I've got. But there we go. So there you go, get that there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab. And then we're going to go diagonally with these slabs. Like this. Then behind this, we're going to have a, st a stair run on that piece there. Like that. And then what we get is a slab on the upper piece uh, on each of these. Whoops. Right in this corner. On e each of the corners, even. 
And then we have just a nice cross on the top piece like that. There we go. That's better. Now, I think what I did with this one is I had alternating buttons. So I had, yeah, stone stone buttons and wooden buttons. Uh, it's totally up to you. I mean, it's, it's pretty much exactly the same. So I went stone buttons on the sides and then a wooden button in the middle. Um, it doesn't really matter. Again, you could put like this as a, a room at the top. There's no reason why you can't do that. Maybe have it as your mage's room or whatever. Uh, all the way at the top of that. But that's looking pretty damn good. So the only other stuff that you really need to do with this one, guys, um, and there's not loads. It's uh, mostly variation blocks. So again, yeah, I used the uh, grey concrete powder and cyan terracotta. Um, I don't think I used anything else on those blocks. No, I think I, I did initially use the grey concrete, but I didn't like it in the end. And I've also got a lot of, yeah, stone and stone, uh, stone, mossy stone bricks and cracked stone bricks building my way up and I just kind of like, um, because it's a swampy kind of one, I had quite a lot of them, you know, in corners and uh, kind of especially on the lower parts, but literally just start switching out blocks. Same with your uh, stone as well, you know, really use your stone as a, like an advantage really, because stone will just make, uh, break up whatever you're building quite quickly and you literally just go around replacing some of the blocks and you might go okay well I'm gonna have like a little bit of a fault line here with the cracked stone brick same with this as well there's too much pressure on it or whatever um, and you start just like tweaking it as well as with these greys I just put these in the bottom so I only had a couple of them literally just in the on the on the kind of like bottom uh, like levels of these uh, and kind of like mix that in with lots of other blocks as well and, and had it like you know some, some of those in there um, and stuff like that really is all you're going to be doing, and that's you pretty much just variate your way through the entire thing. You can, of course, use World Painter for it. That's what I did. Um, but the only other thing really to do is to put in a floor. So I went with this kind of like polished andesite. You can also see I've got some stairs, so we can put these these in. Um, there's no reason why not. And this one we kind of got this room here. Uh, you could also do like an angled uh, kind of thing. Let me let me show you guys this as well as let's get into a couple little bits and bobs. As might as well. Where have I gone? So I just fin that's the one I've that's the one I've built before. <laughs> I'm flying around like crazy. So what I ended up doing in here is having yeah, having two two spruce wood doors on here and then having wooden trapdoors on this bit. Now I've I've only got wooden trapdoors, I haven't got the spruce ones, at least in uh 112. So I would use the spruce ones. I really like the spruce spruce uh trapdoors, so I just kinda have like something like that for uh the main like gate, as if there's like a, a big uh, gate behind it You can then of course yeah put in all of your floor down here, you know fill this all up um, let's, let's get some light now because there is not a lot of light going on. There you go So you have your light in there. Um, it looked like on my one I had definitely had this cut out here and had you know some stairs in there So you can then put in another door behind that um, And this was just normal room because we've got the stairs up here this time Which is quite nice actually having them uh, in between it kind of makes a lot of use for that space uh, putting something there with this kind of corner thing you can you could potentially do like a, a corner um, type of entrance so if you cut that back even more I think yeah let's cut that back even more so if you did something like this you can then have you know slabs on this bit so you do something like that and perhaps even have it going down to there or you know to make it look a little bit more open uh, where's that? Nice. There we go. Just think it on there. So you could do something like that if you wanted it at an angle. Um, it doesn't look great, but it looks okay. You know, it doesn't look it doesn't look terrible, terrible. I think the worst bit is actually that one, that block there, where you could just, you know, replace that with that one there. Um, or, of course, you don't have to do that at all. You could just have what I had, which is having this corridor going down the side. It's totally up to you guys, and I, I want to see what you guys come up with. Because uh, I know for the first one, I, I came up with a couple ideas uh, with the Oak Plains, kind of like castle that we did. But if you guys have got any ideas for this, then uh, that'd be really cool to see them. So I think probably, you know, shove something in there or, or whatever and then, you know, throw your torches around and light up the place. Uh, but that's pretty much it. There's not really too much more we can actually do to it except for, you know, further interior details and everything like that. But yeah, do variate it. Uh, that'd be really cool. Let me know what you think anyway of this tutorial, and um, if you want more, of course, do comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what the kind of styles that you also want to see out of these 
But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.